If you hit the grab button, just kind of hoping. It's just prepared for it. Yeah. Yeah. Pocket knife is the most important thing for a police escape. Oh, look at this! Look at this! Someone's backing up to victory! <laughs> Maybe. Oh. He can take his jacket off now, apparently. Ah, cool. That's interesting. Yeah, and he's on the main road. There's, there's, he's, if he's a decent driver, he can make it. You're gonna have to juke, man. No, but he's just gonna play Jason Do a three-point turn, and maybe you can get there before it's cool down, but... See what happens. Jason could get a lucky teleport. Teleport right in the street. Or he could end up behind a fence. Yep, oh, look at, oh, yep. <laughs> Jason teleported too far away. He can do it, he can do it. Oh, oh. <laughs> Listen, if he if it takes him all four and a half minutes, he's getting out. Oh, go nope. around! Don't be a don't be a wuss. He's trying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You had this. You just gave it up. Turn around. He uses morph and his shift. Do a three point turn, full speed the other way. Oh my god. Sackhead Jason isn't smart. Yeah, but the driver's not so smart either. Oh. <laughs> what the was what was that, Jason? Sack and Jason was trying to trick him into thinking that he left. He, he just ran off the street and then the guy fell for it and started driving forward. This is <laughs> this is This is like a a battle between two broken battle he bots. Had, he had the perfect window to get out and he he fucking blew it. Still probably gonna get out. From his standpoint, like he's got nothing, you know. Jason is unlikely to get him because he's on the main road. So like, it's either get out soon or wait him out the full three minutes, right? Wait him out. That's more of a draw than a win. Sure. <gasps> oh, lucky teleport! Lucky teleport! Look at that! No one to blame but yourself. That's true. That's true. You gotta take. You gotta take the, the risk sometimes. Oh, all he has is a twig. Come on, man! Come on, man! This will be interesting, at least. They canceled House of Cards. Are you shocked? Did Did you not? Read are you Are you shocked? Maybe you didn't read the the, the newest entertainment <laughs> news. Um, adding to our list of uh, creepy creepos in Hollywood, uh, we can put Kevin Spacey on that list. And the producers of the show don't want to be uh, uh, in the same boat. They ended months before he came out, though. He came out? What, as a pedophile? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, did you read that note? My Yo, God. that that was the, the, the weakest fucking spin I'd ever heard. <laughs> I, I really, I'm really sorry for all this. Also, you know, like, guys, uh, uh, totally gay. Just, like, totally gay, but I'm really sorry for all the stuff I did. Did he really think that would make it okay? I think, yes, he was hoping that would soften the blow. That was a Hail Mary. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Was a yep. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Yeah, he w he was hoping he was hoping for a distraction. Like maybe no one will talk about my alleged pedophilia if I come out. So maybe Did more people come out? What? Did more people come out other than just the one? There's a there's a bunch of stories. Okay. There's a bunch of stories roaming around the internet. I don't know if like if another like specific person has said, "Oh yeah, me too with with uh, Kevin Spacey," but uh there's a bunch of stories of people who have worked on set with him and had to be counseled before they got on set to be like, "Here's the thing. If you are a young, attractive man, uh, you cannot be alone with Kevin Spacey. It it is okay to be gay. Yes. It is not okay to assault a minor or anyone. <laughs> but I mean, you know, I'm <laughs> sure a minor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That counts. That counts. How does coming out soften the blow? Like I said, I think he was hoping it would be a distraction. Like people are like, oh, Kevin Spacey came out. Like, and not talk about the other thing, which of course is what everyone wants to talk about. How minor was he? What did he say? He was 14? Yeah. 14. When Kevin Spacey uh, tried to jump in bed with him. Spacey was 26 at the time. Eee. Super creeps, man. All right, if you cannot separate the the art from the artist, yeah. it's soon going to become impossible to watch any Hollywood movie. It's it's getting harder and harder, man. Don't it's getting harder and harder. You know, and like to me it all depends on context. You know, like what what the art is about. You know, I can I could wa I can watch the Naked Gun movies and not be bothered that O.J. Simpson killed someone, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, it's a little bit different. Mm -hmm. uh, the the movie that Woody Allen is currently working on is about Woody Allen falling in love with a very young girl. Is he insane? Yes. <sighs> and so, like, I don't think I could watch that and separate the art from the artist is the girl he falls in love with in the new Woody Allen movie also his his adopted daughter <laughs> it's her it's her actually it's her acting debut <laughs> <laughs> that's ballsy it is it is ballsy well that's the thing where it's like you know, I, I could probably watch one of Woody Allen's old comedies and be able to separate him being a creepy creepo. But when he makes something specifically about an older dude and a younger girl, it just brings it all up. Yeah, starring Selena Gomez. Uh, Mark Hamill's not the one that would change everything. It's it's George Lucas. If it came out, hypothetically... No allegations that no, no, made, but God, just no allegations. Completely uh, hypothetically speaking, if it came out that George Lucas was a, a molesting creepo, yeah, that's that's when it's nuts. That's uh, what what do you what do you what are the, the the gymnastics the Star Wars fans would do to excuse it? <laughs> you think the oh god yeah? Do you think I mean I know Star Wars fans are nuts, but do you think they would actually like find a way to rationalize it? Yes, they would. Oh man. I know, I, I came on to that, uh, that, uh, it was only 12, but, uh, um, I'm gay, um, I'm, I'm coming out, I'm, I'm the first gay man to come out in Hollywood, <laughs> um, I'm, I'm very brave, I'm very brave, can we all acknowledge how brave I am? <laughs> Yeah, and then all the Star Wars fans would be like, "Well, well, you know, actually, he had George Lucas had very little to do with the original trilogy, and uh, you know, it was, it was really you know uh, the, the, the other directors and writers. And, uh, it was based off of other stuff. George, and you know, it only got good. It really, 
it really only got good after Disney bought it. Technically, so that funny. happened like you know the year before he made Star Wars. Right. So yeah. like he wasn't doing that while <laughs> making st that. You know, I can't watch American Graffiti like I used to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an idiot. I'm horrible at that. You're oh well, look at look at look at Tiffany here. All right. What? All right. I'm not. She's repairing the battery. Oh, that's she, even worse. Yeah, run, run. <laughs> well, she's got the key. Stay with an eye shot, but yeah, that, that's a good that's a good advantage. Oh, Tommy's in there. Too. She's still. She's still. I'll repair. Oh. Is she getting in? She's still. No. No. Okay. All right. If Jason didn't show up after all that, I don't know what is wrong with this Jason. We may have won the Jason lottery. <laughs> I don't give two fucks. Generally, still watch whatever some of these people make. Polanski, Mel Gibson, etc. Like, like I said, a lot of that to me has to do with the actual subject matter. You know, I could probably watch Lethal Weapon and not be not be weirded out by Mel Gibson. I could wa probably watch Old Mad Max. Um, but Mel Gib if Mel Gibson makes a movie about getting drunk and yelling at people, I'm pr it's probably gonna not sit right for for someone. He makes a movie a movie where he plays a Nazi. You know, <laughs> that might not be the best choice. If he makes a movie where he's a sympathetic Nazi, then it's like, come on. Oh, all right, yeah, all right, people are on it. What's wrong with Mel Gibson? Remember he got drunk and yelled at a police officer? I don't think Tommy is doing anything. I mean, I don't think Jason is doing anything. Maybe not. He, ye he yelled racial slurs at a police officer. Is what Mel Gibson did. That was a while ago. I wonder if this person has the key. Oh, Lucky Strikes. Did I miss your tip? Sorry, I didn't think I did. I thought I was caught up. Or crocodile brain. Hold on, Lucky Strikes. I'm looking. It might have slipped between the eye holes. You know what I'm saying? Oh, she's heading towards the car. She's got the key. There you go. Uh... We're having a car party. Oh, well, and that's the thing, you know, like, it's all, it's all different, like, it, it, it's, it's, uh, I don't even want to say double standard, but it's surprising what people care about, like, like, remember when Johnny Depp beat the shit out of his wife, and then, like, started calling his wife a whore after she left him for beating the shit out of her? He's still making movies, people still like Johnny Depp, like you were saying in chat, Mel Gibson has a history of abuse towards women, but no one cared until he yelled racial slurs at a cop. What is she doing? I don't know. What is she doing? I don't know. You still have Death Road to Canada up as the game you're playing. Oh, That's shit. fine. Shit. Sorry. I'll fix that. For the half hour we're streaming. Eh. Eh. Right. Cancel. Uh, okay. Oh, we still have Death Road to Canada up as the game we're playing on Chatty, which is true. I don't think we fi we fixed it, but now we fixed it. I think. So one of these people has the fucking key. Oh, I don't think Jason's actually playing. Is that a thing that could happen? Yeah, you just 
put the controller down and take a nap. <laughs> uh, very possible. Uh, Gapely says, holy shit, surprise Halloween stream. Thanks for this. I've been sick the past several days, so this makes uh, staying in not seem so terrible. Worked. Rich, yes, you lost some weight. You look great. <laughs> Yeah, I'm getting ahead of that whole weight issue. Yeah, just... <laughs> ah, uh. What is going on? Who's driving? Uh, and whoever uh, said that I, I... I forgot the name of who said I missed... Or Lucky Strikes. I don't see a tip from Lucky Strikes. I don't think it went through. I'm shutting down our alerter and starting it back up again to make sure, but I do not see a tip from Lucky Strikes. So I'm sorry, but I don't, I just don't see it. Oh, God. It was from me, Fiery Dog Poop? Fiery Dog Poop? Oh, okay, yeah, I see Fiery Dog Poop uh, says, I just opened the stream and spat out my drink. This is too spooky for me. Also, will there be a spoiler discussion of Stranger Things uh, 2, Episode 7 tonight? Having different opinions from the chat is the scariest. Uh, not tonight, but we will do that eventually. We will have a big old Stranger Things discussion. Bye. Are you just leaving everyone? I'm, fuck it, I'm done. I'm done. You're just leaving I everyone? I watch those people play musical cars and I'm done. Great. In the four-seater, <laughs> no, no less. In the four-seater! <laughs> Sorry for missing that earlier, fiery dog poop. Uh, favorite Coen Brothers movie? Uh, off the top of my head, Hudsucker Proxy. Oh, look at that! Look at that! Ah! That's, oh, that's great! That's great! You can have Halloween costumes? Look at that! Uh, Hudsucker Proxy is fantastic. Uh, Barton Fink, I feel, doesn't get its, uh, its due. Barton Fink is, uh, is great. John Turturro is, should be a leading man all the time. Oh, two bucks for the skeleton pack. Oh. Eh, it's cosmetic. Mm. <clears throat> it's a it's a great outfit. Uh, they didn't edit Evil Dead. They were the assistant editors for Evil Dead. That's uh, actually what started their relationship with Sam Raimi. They've worked with Sam Raimi throughout the years. Oh no, the illusion! Gone. <laughs> Rich, favorite Cohen Brothers. Movie. I don't know. What do you, what do you like? Raising Arizona. Ra oh, that's another fine one. I might take. Uh, I might take uh, the Big Lebowski over that. I still so haven't seen it. You haven't seen the Big Lebowski. Big Lebowski. I know. 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 Oh shit, that, that knocked my eyes out of whack even more. Oh brother, where art thou is great, Fargo's great. Like, there's a lot. They make good movies a lot of the times. Not all the times, but a lot of the times they make good movies. They also make some bad movies some of the times. What are they doing? I don't know. They're just having a clusterfuck. Uh, it, you know what? It's a good thing you left them. Yeah. Look at it. They're just having a weirdo party. Oh, God. Am I going to come back as Tommy? <laughs> One of them needs to die first, right? Or, or leave. Or What are they doing? I don't think these survivors are bad. I think Jason is not trying. I, I'm gonna go ahead and agree with Rich that Jason is... 
Unless they're going for a kill. Add another way to kill Jason. Oh yeah, that's neat. I I I, I don't know that that's at all accurate. There's something I I heard. There is no credibility to this. I'm, <laughs> I'm actually seeking confirmation. <laughs> Chat, what do you think? <laughs> oh no! And you're right there. You spawn right there. Tommy starts with a pocket knife now. Huh. And a health spray. Interesting. Oh, damn it. Now you gotta run all the way there in the rain. You got Jarvis. Oh, you know what? What? Are you going to get out in the car? They made me wait. <laughs> Let's see here. <laughs> My name is Tate. Let's get caught up on tips. My name Let's is Tate. Says so rich. Does this make our Thanksgiving Day stream more likely or less likely? The annual one is what I'm asking about. The annual Thanksgiving Day stream. It was never an annual stream. Is it happening? I'm, is the I annual Thanksgiving Day stream happening? I, I I decided to do that like shortly before I did it. That right. one time I did it like two years ago. Uh huh. So is it happening? No. Okay, great. Probably not. Unless you decide to do it the day before. Uh, let's see here. Uh, this time it's Lupus says, Hey guys, uh, Rich, I love your Harry Potter costume. Nice invisibility cloak. <laughs> Here's some money to put towards some of that. I was, I was going for Bilbo Baggins with the, the, the one ring. He didn't have a cloak, though. No, it was the ring. Right, but that made him all invisible. All right, all right. In the here, Harry Potter. Here. Ah, Bilbo! Now it just looks like I'm... I'm streaming alone. You have to, like, move something. Oh, shit. Move the red thing next to you. Grab the red thing next to you and make it dance. What red thing? There's a, a red thing next to you. Where next on to On the me? table. I can't see. I have, a, I have a sheet on my head. Well, take the sheet off your head and grab <laughs> the thing on the table next to you and make it dance. There you go. There you go. It's gonna get super spooky. Ah! Do 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 do. Ma na na na. Do 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 do. Ah! Do 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 do. Ah! It's gotten spooky. Ah! Fuck! Oh shit! Did I hurt you? I just wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Get out of here, Elmo! This punk, punk ass. Uh, great. Great. So I, I, I bought a table at a thrift store, an end table. We yeah. did that, that Star Trek Discovery review. Yeah. And I bought an end table. Uh -huh. And I brought the end table back and from the thrift store. And Elmo, Elmo fell out of it. When I was bringing it into the studio, that's super it was creepy. A free Elmo. Yeah. How long? How long do I make everyone wait? You don't think Jason's gonna find you? No, I don't. Uh, I mean, this is great that he is just hiding, right? Um. Uh, 
A while? The whole game? <laughs> what are you feeling like? I don't know what I'm feeling like. What are you feeling like? Is anyone else- go, go to your map again, is anyone else in, or did they all leave? No, they all left. Hmm. The four-seater's gone already. Yeah. I mean, you could, you know, look for the other car parts. That's what I think I'm gonna do. Just for fun. Yeah, yeah, for the shit of it. Yeah. Just why not? Uh, the battery's all the way over there, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah. Let's see here. Where are we? Um, this time it's lupus. Oh yeah, we did that one. Harry nuts. Um, uh, money for post Halloween candy on sale. Thank you. Uh, this time it's lupus. Len Flaksinski says, "How long till Hollywood gets smited by God?" Uh, infinity. Uh, yeah. Watch Stranger Things too. What? Uh, spoilers, it's great. Logan, Guardian, Spider-Man, Wonder Woman, maybe? Thor? Have Are you just listing the, things you like? <laughs> are you? I think that's what they're doing. <laughs> have all been good. Here's to Justice League to break the strange. Oh. Smote? Is the past tense of smite? There, got it. Great. Yeah, Justice League. We've talked about this. Where I'm very interested in it from an academic standpoint to see the how harsh the footage that Zack Snot versus the footage that Joss Wheaton shot is. Uh, keys on the map? No, keys aren't on the map. I need to find keys. The keys show up on the map? I'd imagine they would. I can only imagine something doesn't show up on the map until someone else has picked it up. Oh. We found you. Is this Twitch Plays Friday the 13th? Is like a chat somewhere playing as Jason? Oh my god. They do right down the camera settings, so I'm sure visually they'll look identical. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Do 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 do, 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 do. Do, do, uh, let's see here. Never wealthy, always rich. Says, hey, Jack, did you get to bang Kira? Uh, they are talking about the sexy witch from The Witcher 3. Uh, actually, I've uh, I've taken a little break from Witcher 3 in order to play uh, Super Mario. Hello. Now the, the gas. The, the, I, I never do it. It's just not time. Outside of Jason being on my butt, there's just not time. Sure. Uh, I started playing Super Mario Odyssey, and uh, have stopped playing Witcher 3, but I'm almost done with Super Mario Odyssey, and so I think I'll go back uh, to Witcher 3 for a little bit. So I haven't had a chance to bang anyone. I still, I, I still haven't really met anyone. Nope, 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 nope. Oh my god, that Jason sucks. Yay! <laughs> you can't see it, but I'm cl here. <laughs> you did it! Mommy is proud of you, Jason. But it's time to come home. Play Witcher. I'll play more Witcher Three on stream. Now that I now that I'm into it a bit, I'll play more of that on stream. You guys seem to like that. Oh, they nerfed the grabs. Did they? Ooh. No, it's a question. That's not a statement. They, no, they said they did nerf the grabs. To be fair, to be fair. Jason grabs slower is what they're saying. Mm. 
Uh, let's see here. Anonymous says, would it be fair to call you and Rich the Wario and Waluigi of RLM? No. That would make us the bad guys. Some people might feel that way about us. Oh, I guess that's true. Um, no. Uh, Active1x0 says, hey guys, love previously recorded and the rest of RLM. Your hilarious videos always manage to brighten my day. Happy Halloween, you frauds. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm. How are you enjoying it considering how he dialogue heavy the game is? Uh, I assume they're talking Witcher 3. Um, I assume you're talking about Witcher 3. That makes sense. Um, I'm not super into the story. One... They kind of just drop you into this story and assume you know a lot. Uh, for for example, the very first mission, I was looking for this girl named Yennefer. And I clearly had a past with Yennefer, and she meant something very important to Geralt. And uh, I didn't know who she was, and I didn't care about her. And I'm kind of still playing catch up with the story. Some of the cutscenes are good, some I don't care about. I've been watching them, though, to try to give the, the game a fair shake. There's Maddox? some interesting stuff. What? Maddox? Maddox? That's, a, that, that, that's the name of a personality on the internets. Okay. It's probably not the actual person from the internets. Oh. What do they do on the internet? Uh, the best page in the universe. The best page in the universe. Okay. This is a. I think he recently got a YouTube channel too, a few years ago or something. This is a. This is a, a, a YouTube program that you watch. Not in a while. I used to enjoy reading his page. Oh, okay. I stopped when he like almost never updated it. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I doubt that's actually Maddox too. Just, I saw the name. Sure. <coughs> sure. Yeah, I know, Comixian again. Comixian's a, a Friday the 13th stalker. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Oh, yeah, in chat, as far as Witcher 3 is concerned, I know the entire series is based off of a very large back catalog of popular fantasy books. But, you know, as far as, like, am I watching the cutscenes in The Witcher? I am, but I just don't understand a lot of it. So. That is all. But uh, I think the monsters and the combat makes up for a lot of that. Really, Roach makes up for a lot of it. That dumb horse. I love that stupid horse. He runs into shit all the time. Never comes exactly where you call him to. Kicks you off. He's afraid of monsters. I love that dumb horse. Maddox is old shit. I'm I'm old too. What Rich, happens? You're old shit. The fuck does that matter? What's up, bro? Not much. See here, my name is Tate. Says Jack. Did you make one of your kids go out as Charlie Brown Ghost? Just so you know which one is your favorite. Yes, ah. Daddy. No, they they did their own costumes this year. Were they dumb? Like super dumb? I think so. What? All right. But you know, Very they weird. seem to have a good time. Ew. What do they do? Huh? What do they do? Uh, or do you not want to say? It's fine. You don't want to say. Uh, yeah. <laughs> they don't say. <laughs> don't say. Well, they were like it's they, just too embarrassing. It's just, I, I get yeah, it. No, like it 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 was a it was a last minute decision on their part. They were kind of half ass. Oh, I hated it. But, uh, you know, Lisa and I still, we did a couple's costume instead of a yeah. family costume. And we were fancy ghosts. She was also a white sheet ghost, but we put a wig on her outside. And, like, a, a big comical uh, a pearl necklace. <laughs> oh, so. chat, I am totally the Charlie Brown of Red Letter Media. Yes. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Mike is, is Mike is Lucy. <laughs> Mike is Mike is Lucy. Mike pulls the football away from Rich. Jay is Linus. Uh huh. And Jack, what are you, Snoopy? Yeah, I guess. 
Dinko Blue, I told Rich that, that said the project is are the people behind uh, GOG. Yeah. Which is great. That's neat. Good for them. Well, like, if, if you watch the, the no clip documentary about, you know, how, how they started, like, they started as a distribution company. The, I, the history of how they started is amazing. I think the fact that they're behind GOG is supposed to make me run out and go play Witcher 3 immediately. Oh, sure, sure, sure. Sorry. Sorry, Rich, Obviously. you should play Witcher 3 immediately because these people like DRM free stuff and you like DRM free stuff. So you, oh, you're going to love The Witcher 3. Of course, you're right. Josh is Schroeder. Which one's Schroeder? The piano playing one. Oh, sure. Oh, yep, yep, that makes sense. That makes sense. Now you're Franklin, Jack. You're just kind of there. <laughs> uh, I don't know the Peanuts characters that well. I'm going to be honest with you, so I'll take it. If I'm Franklin, I'll take it. Maybe rerun. Which one's rerun? Nobody knows who rerun is because he didn't come in until much later near the end of the Peanuts. Or at least, you know, he wasn't in many of the animated things. Sure. Okay. Because he was a later day character. Okay. He was... Uh, Linus and Lucy's baby brother. Oh. Okay. No, I wouldn't be Linus. Josh would be Linus. Oh, no, wait. Linus is the one with the blankie. Yeah. He's sensible, though, and he likes this weird great pumpkin thing and that's vaguely analysis to jay liking weird things mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i'm going jay linus okay that's fair that's fair and mike is lucy you know because dark hair uh, oh yeah that's the only reason <laughs> that's the only reason Let's see here. Easy peasy Japanesey says, Sorry you found my name to be inappropriate, Jack. I just read it in a Japanese textbook and thought it was funny. Anyway, happy Halloween, you guys. Nah, you gave us something to talk about. That, <laughs> that, that filled some time. That was great. Well, Josh is Schroeder, if nothing else, because music. Absolutely. If there, you know, if there's a if there's a guitar at a party, Josh is probably the one to go pick it up. Well, Josh, Josh is the only one who really knows how to play it, so mm. hopefully he'd be the one to pick it up. Oh, all right. What's our uptime? Yeah, we're getting close. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Len Flaksinski says, Jack, you are the rom-com expert. Who's the better female Ooh. lead of the early... What'd you get? Keys. Keys, nice. Uh, who's the better female lead of the early aughts? Kate Hudson or Reese Witherspoon? Talk about the three good yeah. Lindsay Lohan movies, Parent Trap, Mean Girls, and Freaky Friday. That's bad luck. I need a distraction. Does the car have the other things? I don't know what has what. Okay. I know I need him to be chasing somebody else and not me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm with you. Uh, out of those two, I'm going to choose um, Reese Witherspoon. I think she was she was in more stuff, and I believed her more as kind of the everyday gal. So I'm going to go Re Reese Witherspoon. And really, I think I've only seen Mean Girls... As far as that Lindsay Lohan trifecta is concerned, and Mean Girls was a pretty funny movie. That's all I got. And that's all I got. Yonder, yonder says hi. All right, is Jason still down here? What is... What is the best method of escape, Jack? Uh, it's up to you. Uh, a chickadee monster says Reese Witherspoon is basic bitch, and that's why she's the better lead for a rom-com. Right. 
He's over by the other car. That's exactly what you're looking for in a female lead to a rom-com. Someone who is so basic that your female audience can can uh, attach themselves to them. Maybe slightly engaging, but as basic as they come. Of course. Came back to you? Oh, he's laying oh he's laying traps up by the car. Is there any such thing as a good rom-com? Of course there is. Oh, battery. Oh, shit. This is doable. Is he throwing knives at you? I got this oh, uh, the big sick is a good rom com. The, the, I mean, if, if that's like saying, is there such thing as? Oh, oh, he's over there now. Yeah. Oh, this one's got the gas too. Fuck that, we're just going. That one has gas and battery. Yep. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. Yeah, you can do it. Oh, everyone's scattering, but he might... Nope, no, he's coming back. Get in there! Weapon, weapon, weapon. Where did he go? All the way over there! What? I don't care! Okay, great. Come on, people, come on, people, come on, people, come running, come running. Fixed it. I'm out of here. Get in, get in. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Do they see you? Where is he? Go, 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 Rich. You can do it. You can do it. Taking the back exit. There's a back exit? Unofficial. Uh. I'll get the battery. I don't know what I'm paying this. This doesn't feel great, this driving. Gonna end up in the water. You're a madman, Rich. This is madness. You're a free man soon enough. This is madness. Scatter, you gotta hit him. Gotta hit him. Gotta hit him. Yeah, you do. That's yeah, you do. Guys, do you have any keys? Do you have a knife? No. Okay, let's see here. Yonder Yarn Yonder says regarding oh, Rich being Charlie Brown, you'll the... love this. Okay. Just go do it. Yeah. Yeah. You want me to hit T? No. No, it's fine. I got it here just in case. You just gotta go, man. Oh, no. He's right there. Never mind. Don't, don't go, man. Don't go. We got a bat. It's pretty good. What's he 
doing? Where's he going? What's he doing? I'm weakening the other door. Sure, sure. Okay, I got two pocket knives. Oh, okay, great. Fuck him! Ah, fuck him! Ah, fuck him! Fuck him! Nice! Rich, they didn't believe in you. They were scattering because they were afraid of your power. They should have stayed by and started hitting them with bats. Of course. Stunned him, and we all could have gotten away. And then you would have waited for them. Nice. <laughs> That's great. That's great. You did it, man. You did it. Rich for president of driving. I'd vote for that. You got my vote. That's great. Fuck him is always the best part of the game, says Pizza Train. Oh, no, I can't. <laughs> Oh, they called the cops. Oh, she dressed like, like, was that Snow White or Sleeping Beauty or something? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like a, like a... Princess? Like a princess outfit. That's funny. That's cute. Yeah, there's currently no Jarvis here. I could get jarvis You could. By the way, that's like... Just a rule of thumb for everyone, if there is a fully functioning car and someone heading towards it, and you have a weapon, <laughs> help them out! <laughs> teamwork! Teamwork, teamwork, teamwork. I was figuring that Jason would pull me out of the window, I would use my pocket knife, and by then they would run over and we could help and we'd have a fighting chance, but... They weren't anywhere near they you. They weren't anywhere near me, and Jason failed to grab me, so fuck it. Yep. They were running away, they weren't helping at all. <laughs> Oh, he's oh someone else getting out on their own. <laughs> Bye, suckers. Oh, that's great. Here's all the costumes. Oh. Get it. Generic superhero. Karate. G oh, God, that karate. That's straight out of Karate Kid, too. Yep. And, of course, Chad is wearing it. I like it. Yep. Uh, not Wonder Woman. I love that one. Naughty devil. Naughty devil. Andre the Giant. Yep. Yeah, these are all neat. Sorry, yeah, that's Diego. cute. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I forgot you don't I have, have no arms. You have no I'm hands. just a floating head. Right. And occasionally part of a neck. Karate guy. Bunny army guy. Certainly not Rambo. Certainly not Karate Kid bad guy. Yep. Oh, that's great. No! Bye. Buy it. It's only two dollars. Eh. Eh. Let's see here, um, Encephalopathetic says, in the last best of the worst, I saw a tape with a bohemian club owl. Wh what? In the last best what of the worst. What is a bohemian club owl? I saw a tape with a bohemian club owl. Fun fact, my father is a member. Another fun fact. So is a man named Richard Evans. What are you hiding, Rich? 
I don't know what a bohemian owl. What is a bohemian club owl? Oh, thank you, Gino Suave, who gave us a link to Bohemian Club. Dodgers three, Astros one. Good. I'm I'm rooting for Game Seven, so good. Uh, a Bohemian Club is a private club with two locations: a city clubhouse in Union Square District of San Francisco, California, and the Bohemian Grove, a retreat north of the city in Sonoma uh... County. Oh, that's a conspiracy theory-esque thing. Oh, okay. It does really exist, and they do do some weird shit there, though. There's been footage. Oh, sure, but it's like—is it like an Illuminati thing? Uh, up the the elites, the political elites. Oh, okay. Rich elite go there, and it's a club, and they do bizarre ritualistic stuff for fun. Oh, uh, okay. <clears throat> Great. It's like a millionaire's toga party. Ah! Nope. A millionaire's toga party. That's... No, that's kind of exactly what it is. Oh, okay. What was, the, what was the one in The Simpsons? The stonecutters? Homer wants to be a stonecutter? Something. I don't think this is exactly like... That's more like... Uh, uh, Mason... Masonic... <laughs> Freemason... Dude, Rich, there's too many conspiracies. I can't keep up. Illuminati. Yeah. That's something different. There's too many there's too many organizations where rich people Bohemian get Grove would be like the weird religious ritualistic place that the Illuminati hangs out at. Oh, okay. I get oh, I am with you. <laughs> I get it now. Uh, has Rich seen the XCOM exercise restraint video? What is this? That's all the information I have. No. Okay. That is all the information oh, I have. Oh, is this the, the Valen don't blow things up thing they turned into a song? Eh, it's a silly meme thing. Okay. One one of the characters gives you the in the first game gives you the worst advice. Okay. Be be careful about using explosives. It'll damage the artifacts we're trying to recover. Okay. The, the German scientist woman. Yeah, yeah. And it's the dumbest fucking advice because you stay alive in that early part of that game by using grenades, literally. <laughs> so it's, it's it's the game giving you terrible advice and it's kind of become a joke. Oh, okay. Of course he made it. Jason's Comixian. Comixian couldn't catch a cold in this game. Damn! <laughs> Damn! <laughs> Shit, dog! You just made Comixian quit. Oh, no. You oh, just made Comixian no. feel bad and quit. Oh, no. Damn. It's a joke. Comixian. Hashtag Comixian shaming. Comixian, it's just a joke. Hashtag com Comixian shaming. We, uh, we can probably call that, if you want to call that. All right, we can probably call it. We can probably After I call it. broke Mixian's heart. Oh, you did. You did. Just wanted to play the fun game with the killer, man. <laughs> I just, it was and just Jason. a joke. Remember that time Comixian made sure he told you where the fuse was, and you ended up <laughs> using that fuse and escaped? <laughs> and you didn't escape, but your teammates did. Remember that, Rich? Yeah. Yes, that was good. That was good. That was good. This guy. This I know, guy. I'm a jerk. Huge jerk. Ah, right, get out of here. 
<laughs> Rich come out as gay, so it blows over. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's great. That's great. Rich heel turn confirmed. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, no, Chard is Rich's Steam name. Yeah. Like Richard. Richard. Yeah. Richard. Yeah. Richard. That's, yeah. that's, that's why it is what it is. What characters would I like to see brought into the MCU with full creative freedom to the director? Well, the... The book that I'm reading the most is Miss Marvel, is Kamala Khan, Miss Marvel. So obviously I would like to see Miss Marvel come into the MCU, but you know, I, they're doing fine. They seem to be making good decisions. I wouldn't want to make a bad decision, but I really like Kamala. How you doing, um, I'm doing good. There's, there's a character in the later X-Men books that I always thought would make uh, make for a good uh, movie character. Yeah. Not necessarily because of her personality, but because of her power. Do you know who Husk is? I've heard the name. Husk is a character who was made by an artist, not a writer. Yeah. Because she has the power to create new skin under her skin in any form that she wishes. Okay. And so if she wants to be really strong, she'd create, like, steel skin. But then in order to reveal it, she has to rip off her own skin. Okay. And I think visually that would be very striking. Yeah. So I would I would like to see Husk in a movie because I want to see people just, like, I just want to see people rip off their faces over and over again. So I think that uh, Husk would be a cool character to see in a movie. Uh, Jack wants. I do. I want face off. I want face off, but with uh, but with superheroes. Uh, someone who I think would work really well in a movie, and I'm actually surprised that they... Well, I guess I'm not surprised because he's not a mainstay. You know who would just work for a standalone movie? Is Longshot. The assassin from the Batman comics? No, no. Longshot, uh, the mutant uh, from the X-Men comics, who has the power of changing probability. Scarlet Witch. Er, mm. wasn't that her power at some point? Scarlet? No, Scarlet Witch is a little bit different. Uh, wait, wait, I'm thinking of uh, Black Cat had that power. You're thinking of Domino. Black Cat had that power. Which one's Black Cat? Spider-Man villain. Oh, okay. She had the she had the power they, to... They gave her superpowers at some point. It was to affect probability. Really? She didn't give people bad luck. Okay. Well, a, a few people have this power, but basically what it means is that uh, Longshot, Domino, Black Cat, whoever has this power is just really damn lucky. Okay. And so... Kind of the opposite with Black Hat. She would make other people unlucky. Oh, she would make other people... Oh, sure, sure. Well, but in Longshot's case, basically, he was just an action hero. But that was his mutant power, is being an action hero. <laughs> you know? Mm -hmm. Like, like he, would, he would find something really useful in a fight, and he would fall from really far and happen to land just the right way. Or... Is that... Do you need a superpower for that? Can't you just have a movie about an action hero? Well, see, I think that's why he would work really well, is because he's just an action hero. He's just really damn lucky. So I think it would work really well. Yeah, long shot, the one with the mullet. Right. You'd have to ditch the mullet. But I'd like to see that. Uh... I was... Let Comixia know if somebody is in contact with him that it was just a joke. I did not mean anything mean by that. These people all the time. Huh? 
I tease people all the time, including you, Jack. You do, but... You fucking idiot. To be fair, you know me. <laughs> so... <sighs> no, Rich made a joke. Kamixian will be fine. He just wanted to play a game. It's gonna be fine. All right. I'm yeah. I am also sure that Kamixian knows that it was just a joke. Kamixian has often had a sense of humor about how bad he is at Friday the Thirteenth, so it's okay. Mm -hmm. uh, last tip here. Desk Raven eighty eight says apple toast bed heated for blanket rat. Okay. Apple toast thing heated rat. Yep, you got it. You got it. All right. Well, great. Oh, that's right. I need to do this. Uh, now is the point in the stream in which we thank all of the people who have subscribed to us during this very stream. Much like Katarl Alt Delete. Oh, wait. It is. It's Katarl. It's like a some kind of... K Take spin it's a spin on control alt delete. Katarl alt delete. Nisem how's that? Nisima? Is that Nisima? Yeah, yeah. Nisima. Nisima! Crusher of Cities, who said, I am so excited for DR2C? What's DR2C? Death Road to Canada! Oh! Have you played it before? No, we haven't. It was alright. Eh. It wasn't great. Meh. It was cute. Meh. Silly putty! Uh, beautiful ho! Oh, God. Nice name. What? This is a nice pun. That's beautiful, a good, beautiful, good, Joe, beautiful Joe, beautiful ho. I yeah, get beautiful it. Beautiful ho. Uh, says, uh, you have been watching TV... Or... Ha you ever been watching TV and spontaneously puked all over yourself? Huh, neither have I. Alright. Okay! Hab78! Uh... Oh, God! What? I, I don't know, I just grew a body. Oh, God! Oh, my God. You were burned. Oh, my God. From the ether. That was weird. That was just weird. Captain Super Ranger... Uh, is Joe Flacco Elite? Says, Happy Halloween, gents. Hope Jack recovered from his post best of the worst hangover. I have. Uh, something I can't talk about yet, but I have. And, uh, and I have. I feel, I feel all right now. Uh, Space Bandito. Laser Beard One. Frozen Ziggurat says, Happy Halloween! Dots85 says, Dear Head and Hat Ghost, Love your stream. Keep up the great work. Blah, blah, yada. Same you heard a million times before. Happy Halloween! Thanks for coming online and delaying my watching Halloween on Netflix plans, <laughs> you fucks. Have a great evening. Thank you. Woodlands one who says I get so few trick or treaters. Why are eighty percent of them twenty somethings in hoodies? Raisins, man, give out raisins. Because people, because parents are overprotective of their children now, and and they're they just and want children, a little bit of their childhood. Yeah, children can't go out and trick or treat. You have to wait until you're twenty before you can go out on your own to trick or treat. As, you know, as long as they're wearing costumes, fucking give them candy. But if they just have a hoodie on and like. A backpack that they open for candy, then raisins. Raisins, man. Mr. Plinkett. Lincoln Jr. Says, five too many. M. V. Convulsant. Yep. <laughs> Megapaw! Soul Calm, who says two months and counting. Vice Versa Man, for 13 months in a row, says, All I wanted for my spooky 13 months was some head. Thanks for delivering. Ah! Yeah, get it. 
This new subscriber for 18 months in a row says, here's to the finest crew in Starfleet. Where? I was, you got us, I was saluting. <laughs> Nobody. Uh, incandescent cactus. Packs of prime. Ezekiel Jeans, who says, witness me. We do, Ezekiel. We witness. We see, I see that thing. Witness. I see it. I see it. Uh, Flip Master Yoda. Hal's. Probably Hall's Variety Pack for 29 fucking months in a row. Who says, on this, the most spooky day of the year. I say, may your ghosts remain ghoulish, your skeletons spooky, your vampires venomous, your jimmies jammed, and your werewolves... Uh, I don't know. You had them last. King of adventure! <laughs> Magical flying tiger. Who says, ooh! Ooh! ooh spooky! Ooh, fellows! Freeway system! Gutter stars for 22 fucking months in a row. Who says spooky? Adele Heidi. Sure. Reefer K. Who says there are too many video game genres these days. I'll simplify things. Games where you can jump and games where you can't. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Geeky Gamer V, or maybe five. I don't know if that's supposed to be a Roman numeral or not. For 13 months in a row, says, thank you for the spooky stream. Spooky. Your Friday the 13th the streams are always a blast. It, you know, it does make for a good stream. Yeah. J Chemo O. J Kim O. J Kim O. That's a petty for 13 months in a row. Brave Cadet. The Last Hummus. The Dano Star, who says favorite creepy sh favorite creep show segment. Creep show? Stephen King Moss Man, maybe, because that's weird. Okay. I don't know if I ever saw a creep show. Okay. Um, Lord Don says, "What were you saying about wafers in the last stream?" Wafers. I made a Eucharist Jeffrey Dahmer joke. The body. The body of Christ after he, you know, he found Jesus in prison. Because he liked the body yeah. of Christ. Yeah, that was funny. That was a good joke. That was the joke of the stream right there. <laughs> That's what I said about it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Derek Jahunt. Swagalicious Pipes says... I fucking love Star Wars. Swagalicious Pipe says that. You mean? Uh, yes, yes. Yeah. Denzo Washington for 14 months in a row. Renjib for 13 months in a row. Dr. Scientist Man. Wicked Scott the Artist says, Happy Halloween, Rich and Jack. Loved you guys in the Plinket Zombie Review. Thank you. Glad you guys got to see it. Zenost for 13 months in a row. Active one X zero. I vit e cut do you? I've tech do you? I've tech do you? Oh, I guess. Yeah. Rich gives Jack AIDS. If that's what you want to give us money for, you go ahead. Lando was taken for 37 motherfucking months in a <laughs> row. Ace Gecker's 3D. Hanover F says RIP. Mixian. Krabby Uncle Lavy. Brad d d 80. Contra Mundus for 26 fucking months in a row says, Hey, you guys. And Rich, I'm sorry that in these best of the worst, you have to be the sober, rational one amongst the nonsense drunks that are Mike and Jack. Rich has the hardest job. He has to put up with assholes constantly. Yep. Yep. It's true. Every single time we do one of these and we start drinking, 
Rich has to deal with us. That's what, but you know, that's why he's the uh, he's the heart. <laughs> You're the heart of Red Letter Media. Right. Without you, we would just be a bunch of. We wouldn't even be able to run the cameras. We'd be so drunk. And Kamixi. Oh.